where we're going, we don't need boundaries. I'm just saying, like, that would be the perfect place to, like, tuck yourself away if you were doing, like, some sort of multi-world hide-and-seek. After you, I can't see nothing, so I gotta navigate by your your uh, ID alone. Um. I don't even know where you went. Oh, there's a uh, a thing here. Where did you? Are you trying to drown? No, I'm just again. I it's so dark in here for me. Can't see nothing. There's a thing here. Phase 3 results. Explosive! The mutations in Phase 3 are progressing at a rate I can't begin to quantify. They've spread to the local <laughs> fauna. Words can't express the sorrow I feel for those simple creatures warped and manipulated into ravenous, horrible, exploding beings. Attempts to reverse or even slow these changes in the... Strange spores, or the creatures it has spread to, haven't been fruitful. I'm tasking Burgle with keeping an eye on all of this, and introducing security defense procedures to keep this lab safe. Catastrophic as it may be, my confidence in raw science as a catalyst for growth and change is sealed now. I would suggest you equip a shield before we go in this room. Do you? You really think so? Whenever you're ready, you can push the button. Oh, I have to be the one to initiate my demise. Oh, it's just, it's just a you. Ow. Oh, you guys are everywhere. Wow, this, this super sucks. Yeah, it's a little bit of a mini boss fight here. I thought you said it wasn't a mini boss. Mini, 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 mini. I'm trying to deal with ads in the least effective way possible. As is my want. Oh. And defeating that particular infected ladybug gets us the Truffle Tussle, a mutation which makes our punches explosive. Really? Mm-hmm. Um, was that it? Just three monsters? Uh, there were a bunch of little mites that I that I took care oh, of. Oh, you, you already looted them? Uh, best that I could find, yeah. Okay. Ooh, I found the, the super duper chip. I found it. It's over here. I found it. It's right behind this wall. Yeah, this lab ain't nothing if that was the lab. Uh, yeah, pretty much. What the heck? The other ones were like neat little dungeons. This was three rooms. Ow. I got ambushed. It happens. Um, I'm gonna pick up a super chip. There's probably gonna be a voice. That's fair. Or not. Uh, there's also a duper disc three. There's also a, a, a blazed earth protocol tape. This what? data disc contains firmware for the super duper machine in the Oak Lab. Loading discs activates the machine software and increases the raw science processing limits required for duplicating more complex objects. This has gone poorly. Very, very poorly. The essence of failure, the pinnacle of its craft. Local fauna? Berserk! Mushrooms? Exploding! My condition, like a baby toe after a long bath. Burgle, are you there? Is this a test? Yes, Burgle, it's a test. 
Now listen carefully. I am abandoning this facility immediately. Initiate the Blazed Earth Protocol. But Dr. Tully, simulations indicate a 95.283% probability of catastrophic failure. I assure you the percentages are much higher than that. Now do it. Beep, beep, boop, beep, 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 boop. Why did you make fake beeping sounds? You said this was a test. I was being sarcastic. <laughs> Complete the lab lockdown, blast the canister per protocol, and meet me in the Black Ant Lab. Okay, I will be right back. You take your time. I'll entertain the kiddos. Hi, kids. It's me, not a butt face. We're having another podcast session where I'm all alone, sitting here in the fungal wastes of the uh, haze lab, looks like today. We have some specimens on offer. Look at, look at this poor fellow suspended in... I mean, technically it's a liquid, but what if it was jelly? Why can't you have mushroom jelly? I guess... I guess there's nothing stopping me. Science would, would call me a madman, but I could jellify some mushrooms. Maybe maybe get a little bit of pectin in there, make a mushroom chutney. Really, you've only experimented on a mite? A larva? A weevil. Is this all? Two weevils! Of course, we have the ladybug. Are there other species of mushroom enemies? Let's, let's check our data. To find out. Yeah, we've got the infected weevil. We've got an infected mite. Infected ladybug, the boss. Infected larva. An infected gnat. An infected any other bugs, thank goodness. I don't need... Well... Okay, so we did see the infected spider. So that's a problem, but it's a problem for another day. A problem for us bumming around the Oak Lab, I would assume. Okay, I'm back. Uh, my body back. was doing that machine thing that we talked about last night. The machine. So, uh, I guess the only place left to go here is this way. Because um, we definitely explored everywhere else behind us. Yeah, absolutely just, like, zipped through this. Um, hold on. Do I have... I <laughs> hope this is enough to keep me safe. That makes life a little better for me. I'm hearing things that I don't appreciate. I have also pulled out my dagger. Ooh. Where'd you run off to? I went back to get some air. That would not be the worst idea. Okay, I got 40 seconds of air. Cue Sonic the Edgehog. Why are there underwater spiders? I can't see anything. Oh, they refill your your air though when you murder or myrtleize them. Let me murder this one, please. You can have it. Uh, there's probably an air pocket up ahead somewhere. Hopefully. I believe you. Well, that was one of us. Oh, I need a higher tier chopping tool. I can't... Oh, there is an air pocket. Yeah, well, I'm gonna die. I got four seconds and you just abandoned me to my fate with I can't see. Blurt! All my resources have been drawn. Respawn at the house. Cool. Let's see if I can't grab a headlamp for myself for this. Uh-uh. No, I want both of those. Just give me the thing. I, I just... I don't want to swap it. I just want the thing. No, don't pose. There we go. Okay. Alright. Alright. 
working my way back. Working your way back downtown? Yeah, apparently I didn't have a high enough chopping tool to be able to start breaking those twigs. Uh, you needed a, a dagger. I did have a dagger out. Oh. It was a level one dagger. Uh, why is my... Oh! It uses up stamina to just tread water, apparently. Strange. I'm assuming you're safe and sound, tucked away snug as a bug in a rug. I'm at least at an air pocket. Well, I'll be there lickety split, don't you worry. If I can find the entrance to this lab. Um, where was the entrance to this lab? It was over here, I thought, right? Kind of like tucked down under here. Nope, that's the mixer. Come on. Map. Yeah, his lab. I'm looking right at you, apparently. Apparently, I'm looking right at you. I'm behind you. There's my problem. I am the worst at directions in this. Oh, the gnat has found me. Yeah, this is dark. I don't know what's up with that. And now it just looks so blown out on my end. I feel like we probably should have had underwater gear before doing this mess. I don't know what you're talking about. Also, I also don't know what you're talking about. Because, like, we have not underwater geared yet. Exactly. I don't know what kind of underwater gear would be would be useful down here. Well, I've already made uh, a gill tube back at the base, which increases how long you can breathe. I thought it would increase how long you can hold your breath, not necessarily how long you can breathe. Okay. Oh, I am... Lost where my backpack is. Dang it. I need to go get my backpack before I go get you. Well, I'm gonna die. Why? Did you go through? I went too far. Where's my backpack? There it is. Can you make it back? Are you safe? No. I drowned. Dang it. Um, I wonder... Nope, we don't have enough material to make that. Um, did I make fin flops yet? Uh-oh. I too fear that I may be in dire need of oxygen and unable to murder a spider fast enough. Oh, one hit away! Yeah, definitely looks like whatever we're trying to do down here, we need water gear. Which, uh, wait, hold on. Can I equip a breathing tube and a headlamp at the same time? Or are those mutually exclusive? Those are mutually exclusive. Well, then that does me no good for being able to hold my breath longer. However, we could make an underwater torch. That would be also useful. And he said there was something called fin flops. I 
also have something called a bubble helmet. Uh, we need lily pad wax and eelgrass strands. I think we might need to do some prep for, like, underwater adventuring. If I'm being honest. Um... Well, I want to see if I can make, yes, I need a spider fang dagger. That's the level two one that works well underwater, apparently. Okay, fine. You know what? I'll make one of these. One that I had was not good enough, I guess. Did you also pick up your um axe wherever it ended up? I'll get that after I retrieve my backpack, because it's kind of full. Although I could probably empty the gnat since it's here. I mean, I guess I also left my backpack over there, but I figured, no, no, I'm going to, what do you want me to go do to get, um, to get underwater gear? I'm assuming go to the pond and start chopping stuff? Yeah, you need to go to the pond and start killing stuff and chopping stuff and all that. Okay, I'm going to start that way before I go get my backpack, because one way or the other, I'm going to go get that backpack, which is full of goodies, but goodies that I don't need pond adventure-wise. This is... Dividing the labor to conquer uh, my own oopsie doodles. <laughs> so, are you telling me that we technically did this like backwards, backwards, backwards? I mean, this is yep. probably what. Bobby super did. duper backwards. I mean, yes, that's the whole point: is to get the super duper chips, and we did it backwards. Good job. You've recognized that much. Is there a particular reason if we're, like, basically, oops, I have to do all three of them anyways? I mean, I guess we, like, jumped power scaling by doing that Black Ant Lab. And I do have a cool sombrero out of it. Um, personally, I wanted to do them backwards because of the items it granted access to. Can you not... What the heck? How far away were you hitting me with that? Yeah, and I mean, a lot of the items that it grants act access to has helped us, like, jump pretty pretty significantly in, in power level. Unfortunately, that does not include our ability to breathe underwater. Well, we could make smoothies for that, but we already didn't do that. Yeah, I thought I saw something about gills. Oh, There's you know also on the one that does swim speed as well. You know what's on the other side of the pond? Or what's between me and the pond? Spider Town? <laughs> Not just Spider Town, but Hyper Aggro Spider Town. Yeah, we're going to need weapons that we can actually defeat those with, eventually. Let me rephrase that for the for the folks at home. You're going to need weapons to actually defeat them, eventually. Uh, how have I never discovered the armed raspberry poncho before? I don't know. It's just we're right slapping. here by the water. Have I not come down this way? All right, I'm at the I'm at the pond. There are these lily pads here. Now what? Oops, I fell in the water. Now um, what? Um, you you can get gobs of wax underneath the lily pads. Gobs of wax underneath lily pads. Got it. What you is can... it? <laughs> you can get eaten by a fish, <laughs> which I assume is what that was. I just um, heard. I just heard groan. 
I just started swimming like a mad lad, and and then, and then I saw tail disappear down a hole. I did not get eaten. I absolutely did jump. That was actual panic. Oh, the music's changed now, like uh, rather suddenly. Uh, so yeah, you can get globs of lily pad wax underneath the lily pads. You can chop grass with a dagger to get uh, the eel grass. So like the the underwater um, grass, not like grass can, grass that you are chopping down. Why why can, fish? Why you can kill tadpoles for their meat? Do we need tadpole meat? Um, there was a recipe that, uh, required it. The, um, the smoothie. Okay. Um, if you can get down really deep, which you're going to need some gear to begin with to get down there. There are scales and bones in the dirt that you can dig up with a shovel. Oh, I found a tadpole. I think I also just watched the fish despawn. We're gonna have to name that fish at some point. She has a name. Does it have a name? What's the name of that fish? Yeah. Trudy too. Oh, because of course it would be. Um. I'm getting raw science readings over here. Unfortunately, killing a tadpole does not give me meat. Or sorry, does not give me air. Turns out, level 2 dagger, much stronger than a level 1 dagger. Or tadpoles are just like incredibly weak. I found some kind of, like, filtration hatch underneath this pagoda. Over here. Trying to, like, avoid where the fish can swim. Sorry, Trudy 2. She does have a name. Okay, I'm probably gonna drown again. I went too far. I'm trying to save us. Through the power of, like, resource gathering and actually moving through the tech tree. A chop well, I... <laughs> I have... I have swim gear. I don't know what grass I need to chop. I'm looking for it here. Is this it? Is this choppable grass? It is choppable grass! <laughs> Why it has to be the yell at me. It has to be the fish making you scream like that because there's only two enemies down there that can aggro you besides the fish. And that's the spiders that you've already seen and the uh water water fleas. Where'd you come from? There we are. Yeah, no, the fish just like looked at me went and then swam away and I don't I don't appreciate that. I don't need that kind of aggression in my life. Uh oh. I think my game crashed. Uh, yeah, I'm just watching a water flea float up into the sky. This is Give me a second. beautiful. I'll, but I'll let you know when it's back up. I'm not joking, I watched because the water flea just got like stuck in its swim animation and vector and so when the game crashed it just kept going up and up and out of the water and just... <laughs> Goodbye, my planet needs me. Huh. 
turns out the game is not super stable on Xbox. I don't think I've ever had it crash on the Steam version like this. Oh, we went back a fair amount because apparently I'm still alive in the water tunnel. I'll probably be dead when I actually load into the world, though. Uh, there we are. But the lobby's up. Yeah, it wasn't up for me. I had to reload it. My name's Peter. My friends call me Pete. Look, it wouldn't be us recording Grounded without some sort of technical difficulty going on. I think it <laughs> auto-saves every five minutes, but I swear, every time it crashes, it feels like we get kicked back almost the full five minutes. Do you think maybe it's crashing as it's trying to auto-save? I doubt it. That would probably corrupt the save. But yeah, we 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 tend to we tend to run into the technical difficulties trying to record this between between the two of us, and if not technical difficulties, uh, it's my own human and difficulty of scheduling. But like, thankfully, the, the like it's never been anything like catastrophic, you know. Nothing has turbo failed on us yet. I mean, so far we haven't missed a day of uploads because I didn't have anything to render out yet, so. We're just gonna have to miss. A, we're just gonna have to miss a day of uploads because I haven't got you B-roll footage. <laughs> I think literally you need footage of the bees, don't you? Is that one of the things on my list? Uh, I don't. I don't think I put that on there. Hey, I'm still alive. It's like mistakes never happened. I totally believe that. Huh? that that crash was was entirely accidental. Yeah, because I totally can just crash the game on command. And just rip out the cord in the Xbox. You're all good. Um, let's try not get eaten by a fish in the for real timeline. In the timeline that counts. I need some sort of Trudy detector. That would be great. We can put a tracking chip on her. That would, that would, go, would go a long way. I mean, she is pretty big and loud. Not until she gets up on me, turns out. Can I have some water? Or some air, actually? Air, please. Please, air. Thank you. I almost done Sonic myself. Where are you? Where'd you go? Uh, can I not? Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. You know, honestly, what might be a good idea is finding... Well, I guess we would just respawn... No, does Burgle have a, f have a field station near him? There is one near the hedge lab, because it's been going off on my radar every time I approach. And not the hedge lab, I'm talking like by the pond. Oh, there's actually one in the pagoda. There's something that we can respawn at in the pagoda? Yeah, there's a research station there. There should be a stick near it that you can uh, get on top of and walk up into it. That might be useful. 